Hello and welcome to Do-It-Yourself Musician. Today we're going to take a look at this um, ADA Digitizer 4. Uh, if any of you have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I got this in an auction oh, years ago. Uh, it's just been sitting in my storage. I've not really used it until, oh, I don't know, a few months ago I, I saw it and decided to pull it out and play with it a little bit. And this actually sounds really good. I mean, for a digital delay, it's it's interesting. I mean, being, you know, the era, the mid-80s, this is one of the first uh, sort of digital delays that came out. And I don't know, I, I just really like the sound of it. I've been using it uh, to double guitars a lot, so I think I'm actually going to put it in my rack somewhere. The only problem is, is this thing buzzes. It has a, not an audio buzz, it has a physical transformer buzz in it and i i actually don't think it's because uh that there's something wrong with the transformer i think it's actually the case is buzzing because the transformer is vibrating so i yeah if i remember right i think the transformer was mounted on the side or something so i don't know i'm going to try to figure out what i can do maybe to eliminate some of that buzzing so let me turn it on and let you hear that and see if uh, we can pick that up it's probably not that easy to hear so I'll try to get a better get a mic up there better All right, so let's pop the top off this and see if we can solve that buzzing issue somehow. Okay, here we are looking at the inside of this and here's our transformer back over here. And I do want to say that since uh, I'm working with the transformer today, remember that this is mains voltage and it can be very dangerous. Uh, I still have the unit plugged in right now. Don't poke around in these units unless you understand the risk of high voltage. Uh, let me turn it on again and see what the buzz sounds like with the top off. Immediately, that's like a lot less buzz. In fact, I'm not sure I would notice that. So it makes me really feel like it's just the case here that's actually... Yeah. I can actually feel that vibrating on this lid. I know this will be very hard for you guys to, to hear, but just take my word for it. Yeah, and when I take the lid off, it's just like the buzz goes away. I mean, it's still there. It's just very, very slightly there. So I think it's what I, I want to do maybe is just check out that transformer mount a little better. Make sure it's actually tight in there and see what, if any, isolations on it. It doesn't look like it really has any at all. I just want to make sure it's not loose though. So I'm going to take it off power and we'll look at that. Okay, so I got you in a little closer. You can see a little better. And just inspecting this, it doesn't... It doesn't feel loose at all. It's it's tight. It's not. It's not anything to do with that. It's just I don't know. It's it's buzzing, transferring to the case. When I say buzzing, I mean it's physically vibrating. And buzzing is probably the wrong word. The transformer itself is not buzzing. It's vibrating the case is what's happening, um, and uh, I I think. 
the answer to this is actually going to be isolating the lids, the top and bottom lids of the case from the sides. It's very common when you open up effects processor to see that there's a little felt and stuff along these edges, and this one doesn't have that. So my first instinct here is just to put some felt along these edges, uh, screw it back together, and then listen to it then. And that way we won't have to mess with the mounting or anything. It would be pretty easy just to put, put the felt on here. So I went to Joanne Fabrics and found this stuff. This is called Presto, and it's uh, just some kind of uh, felt stuff, but it has a sticky uh, backing on it here, so it should be pretty easy just to cut cut some of this off and, and stick it on the edges of the unit. Now what I'm probably going to do is, is there's a screw hole here and a screw hole there. I'm just going to make a strip to go in between those, same thing in the back, like between here and here and here and here and here and here. Um, I know you couldn't see that, but you know what I mean there. <laughs> Everything there. And so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and cut this and um, apply it on the unit. Okay, so measuring these sides. I'm getting about, uh, almost nine millimeters. So I think I want to go a little less than that, probably around seven. You know, lock that off. And then what I'll do is I'll mark this, this felt by just making a little puncture marks top and bottom and that way I can line my ruler up and get um, the right size line to in order to cut the felt Okay, so I've cut out about three strips of this felt, and I'm just going to eyeball it for length between these uh, screw holes, like that, and then cut it off here. And like I said, this stuff is a sticky, sticky back. stuff it's probably there we go that off there and just gonna oh, it stretches a little bit so be careful not to stretch it too much I guess by stretching it you could thin it out some too a little bit long So I'm going to do it just like that, all the way around to have a nice felt surface. And I think this is going to be okay. I'm, I'm slightly worried that, that this is going to be a little too thick, because if it's too thick, you're not going to get the, the panels back on low enough for this to actually slide into the rack. But I think it's actually going to be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it. So I've installed the felt around all of these edges now. Just leaving clearance for the screw holes on it. We go ahead and turn it on. And you can immediately hear that humming. See what happens when I put the lid on it. Carefully put the lid on it. Yeah, 
that's the bottom humming. So I'm not going to get out of this easy. <laughs> I'm going to have to do the top and bottom. All right, let me do the bottom real fast. Okay, here's the bottom side. I've got it all felted up now. Just put the back back on and flip her over and see how much noise it's making. We like to point out that these uh, short screws that come with this thing, they're kind of uh, self tapper screws. They're not the best in the world. I wouldn't uh, try to over tighten them, over tighten them or anything, but they do. They're long enough that they grab through the felt and, and make good, good contact. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, here we are. Top and bottoms are back on. Let me plug it in, and turn her on, and see what kind of sound we're getting now. It's a lot better than it was, but I can still definitely hear it. Might have to, uh, might have to think about uh, shock mounting that transformer or something. I'm tempted to put some of this felt under that, that transformer to try to isolate it from the case more. I don't know, I think I'm going to pop the lid back off one more time just to see if there's something I'm not thinking of. Well, after popping the covers back off and having a closer look at this, this becomes a bit of a, of a job, actually. I, I think most of the noise is, or excuse me, I shouldn't use the word noise, most of the physical vibration is coming from the fact that the top of this transformer is touching where the circuit board is mounted. Uh, if you can see right here, there's actually a, a, an aluminum uh, L channel that runs along here and the transformer is hitting that. It does help to isolate it a bit from that. I think to, to get this to be really vibration free that, that I'll need to put something under the transformer here and then also make clearance for it up here. Problem with that is that of course I'm gonna to have to be digging into the, the PCB to, you know, basically I would need to remove this to get it out of the way. Just remove this material. Also looking at this, I've noticed that this part of the transformer is actually very high. I think it's actually sticking up more than the side here. Um, I've got no way to really look at that other than, I mean, you see it right there, I guess. I'm on the back and I, I, I'm rocking on it. You see that? That means this is actually high. So this is touching the back. So I've adjusted the height of the transformer a bit. And as you can see now, I'm not rocking on it. I'm able to get across here but there is, there's virtually no, no daylight there. And I am touching these wires. So 
I think what I'm going to do is just on the the panels, I'm going to put a bit of of uh, that felt where this is to maybe try to to stop that. And I'll probably do that on both sides because I imagine it's also touching the bottom panel. Okay, I've got felt pads installed on both sides of the transformer and I tried to get it to settle in the middle of them, I don't know. Let's turn it on and see what we get now. It's very similar, I don't think that did much. I mean, I think the fact is, is that, that these uh, top and bottom covers, they just act as resonators. All right. But, you know, it is a lot quieter than it was before I did anything to it. So, I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now, and uh, I'll revisit it later if I want to change it, try to make it any quieter.